Power BI drill through is great functionality, but it isn't always the best option. That's why we're going to show you five different alternatives, which may work better for you. But if you came to this video wanting to learn about Power BI drill through, then click in the corner to check our videos showing you how to use Power BI drill through. Now, if you're ready to look at alternatives to Power BI drill through, then let's get started. My name is Avi Singh. I'm a Microsoft MVP and best selling Power BI author. And if you want to become a Power BI pro, make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you are notified whenever I go live to answer your Power BI questions. Before we take a look at the alternatives, let's take a really quick look at Drill Through. Drill Through is simple. Once enabled, you can right click on an element and choose a Drill Through option, which is going to take you to a more detailed page. So here I'm selecting Germany, Drill Through, Country Detailed, and that takes me to a different page with that selection already made. And I can see all the detail about the Ger Germany, the trends, transactions, and this could be whatever you build. So that's in essence the idea of a drill through. And as you saw, the purpose of a drill through is simple. It's simply to show the user more detail. However, that can be done in different ways other than drill through. That's where the alternative options come into play. And let's start at number one, and that's cross filter. So remember, the goal here is to simply show the user more detail. Now, in this case, it, when we were drilling down to a specific country, you saw how the report was structured, and it had trends, and it had a map, and it had this uh, uh, area chart. Now, uh, of course, and so this is going to be your choice as the Power BI uh, developer or as a Power BI author that you can decide the layout of the report. Then instead of them having to drill through and you know kind of find it and right click and all of that sort of stuff, you can instead build a report so that those elements are on that page itself. So the elements that are needed are on the page itself. And if they want to select a specific drill through, well, that functionality, uh, or th if they want to see a specific detail, that functionality is always built into Power BI by default. All they have to do is touch or click, right? So I can I can click on United Kingdom, and this is default behavior. Everything else cross filter. So now the the numbers up top, the high level, the trends, and the stable here. This graph over here is set to United Kingdom. If I wanted to see Germany, all I have to do is click Germany or Australia, and everything else adjusts. So again, if if you want them to see a specific detail, it is not necessary to use drill through. You can simply use cross filter. Hey, I just want to say that the file that I'm using to demonstrate these five alternatives, you can download that and the treasure chest of all my files at learnpowerbi.com slash download. So Power BI drill through, let's go to the alternative number two, which is tooltips and report page tooltips. Now tooltips are built into Power BI. So if you notice here that as I hover over an element, it shows me the information about that. But not just that, you have an option to, uh, if I select this visual, then you have this tooltip fields where you can add additional data fields. And I've already done that in this other graph, where if you, again, if you look at the tooltip section for this graph, I've added these other uh, information again from my field one, right? So it's not shown on the graph unless and until I hover over something. So, so watch what happens here. As I hover over something, those additional elements, so it sh does show the, the name, the country, and the sales. These elements are being shown in the graph as well. But then you have an additional section, and this can be as many, uh, as much information as you want. You can uh, keep stacking numbers. Of course, at some point, it's going to get ridiculous, but you can add additional information in the tooltips right there. Now, not just that, tooltips have a really incredible feature which lets you show like a graphic report page tooltip. Let's take a look at that. So um, I'll just show it to you first and then uh, you know point it uh, to where it's built. So if you notice, and you probably noticed it earlier as I was interacting with the report, that as I'm hovering over these elements, notice that all I have to do is just kind of hover over an element and then this 
this pop-up display comes up and it's showing me more information it's showing me the the trend it's showing me that and of course this is a custom page so you can design it as you as you uh, see fit now this page is uh, right here country tooltip now the only distinction here is that the tooltip page size is not going to be big and, and and you know so you're gonna have to select uh, in the page size you're gonna have to select uh, tool to page size and it's not that big so you can't fit in a whole report but sometimes you don't need a whole report you just want some key information and that you can show just using either uh, you know the the built-in tooltips uh, these ones or uh, using maybe a report page tooltip number three if you have external reporting systems these could be your legacy systems which have always been there or these could be um, um, in the Microsoft family SSRS reports that you can link to then you can often use dynamic links to link to external report now hey I, I don't have a system like that so I'm just gonna uh, you know make Google my poor man's friend but again imagine in this case that you had a system uh, which was your own server either your uh, SQL server reporting server where you can create dynamic links or, or point to the report using dynamic links or uh, some other system where you could pass those parameters so in this case you know I'm really using Google as my reporting engine so here what I have is you can see that these links are dynamic so right so uh, notice uh, here the country is kind of here Australia Canada France and Germany and so forth and if I uh, let's try that again uh, there we go yeah you can see that so you can see how uh, these URLs are generated dynamically and if you want to examine the measure and how I'm building it and so forth just uh, go to the URL that I mentioned earlier and download this file and examine everything in more detail right so you can have a setup like this and and then if somebody says hey you know click and they will see in this case well Google brings up a nice graph which is not bad right so uh, right so but imagine in this place is your own reporting system uh, SSRS or some other system that you're in use where you can pass in uh, these links to link to specific or detailed pages in the report so that was dynamic link to external reports well you could do the same thing with power bi reports now of course that works a little differently let's go back to this and um, uh, so let's see how this report uh, has been built so first thing is, is simple the, the URL is there but then there is this specific format to pass in the parameters and again you can examine the file to see how this measure is built and how I'm doing that but again the effect is identical so um, you can have uh, these things uh, in a table or in, in, in a different format and different visuals whichever supports the web URL and then if somebody wants to see oh Germany I would like to see the population trend for Germany they can just click on that and in this case it's going to open up the Power BI report right so uh, in three two one Germany it is right so you can see and of course this can be any report that you can link to now this might seem similar to if you've seen my original um, uh, drill through videos I talked about cross report drill through this is similar to that but the advantage of this is that at this point cross report drill through is only allowed for reports within the same workspace but this has no such limitation you can link to any power bi report in your system and kind of open that by passing in dynamic url parameters hey before we go on to number five i just wanted to make a quick shout out to our power bi tutorial so if you're just getting started or keep getting stuck in power bi make sure to click in the corner and check out our complete step-by-step -step Power BI tutorial so number five to show the option alternative to Power BI drill through to show the user more detail is using bookmarks Now bookmarks are of course uh, it's it's a gift that keeps on giving they're a very flexible feature can have a lot of uses and uh, and and you can use that to show more detail so I'm going to show you a, a simple example in this case so in this case we're looking at um, a report page now this in fact I'm using it as a drill through page but uh, ignore that fact for now imagine this is a report page and then you can have have a toggle which is driven by using bookmarks and the user can just click to see more detail and, and in this case uh, I'm, I'm showing them a table which of course does show them a, a lot more detail and, you know sales area percentage but again you're not limited to that I mean if you wanted to you could use this toggle to completely change this whole report you could override all the elements in here and 
really show whatever you want. So you could have a toggle saying, hey, show detail, and on the same page, without navigating, without drill through, just say, yep, detail, and then, you know, go back to the original summary. So those were the five alternatives I covered, uh, which you can use instead of Power BI drill through. I would love to hear from you which one of these do you love and which one of these maybe you hate. So let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you know of any other options which can be used to show the user more detail, let us know about that as well. And make sure to check out our original videos on Power BI drill through and how to do that more. Until next time, power on my friend. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on my friends.